Hi, my name is Lukas von Stockhausen, and I'm Senior Product Manager for Static Application Security Testing here at Fortify. Today, I would like to show you a new feature which we are going to release with our 20.2 SCA release. And this is Dockerfile scanning with custom rules. As I showed in a previous unplugged session, um, we release for the first time in this release the possibility of scanning Docker config files in order to help developers to create more secure container images as part of the S SDL of the secure development lifecycle. Um, this actually complements scanning base images for known vulnerabilities where we look into containers to understand if there are any known vulnerabilities um, or if there are any components in there with known vulnerabilities. In this case, we look at the Docker config file in order to understand um, if the Docker container by itself has been set up securely. In addition to just scanning this with our rules, we support custom rules um, for different use cases, such as verifying, for example, um, that we use base images out of a company um, approved Docker container or Docker repository. This is in the, pre the part of the previous um, unplugged session where I showed a demo how we scan Docker files and what issues we can actually find um, that we actually look for Docker files automatically so they can just be included. There is no special configuration necessary. In this case, I would actually like to show you that we can add with custom rules the possibility to look for um, certain repositories or certain Docker images, which we approve. And this is something which you can actually see or not see at the moment in this custom rules. But if you look here, right, we have here an example for a custom rule where we allow approved image one and approved image two as a repository for, um, or as a, as a container base image for um, creating a new Docker file or for creating a new Docker container. So if we run this demo here, um, you will see that I have one of the previous Docker files and I'm going to run that if we, um, if we open this up here, I'm going to run that in two different versions. Once I'm actually just running the scan and in the second file, I'm using um, this custom rule, custom Docker file, which I just showed you a moment ago, where I look that only these two base images are actually used. And you see the scan is ready already. The um, audit workbenches are opening. And we will see in a moment um, that um, we have in one file, um, in one FPR file, in one result file, we will see that we find that issue where, and as the other one, which is without um, the additional check, um, we will not find this additional vulnerability. Okay, we are opening the second FPR here. The scan has been done as well already. So let's just um, wait for another second. And we see in this case here, right, we have just um, our vulnerabilities, which we have seen in the previous demo already, sensitive, um, sensitive hosts um, being added. And we have in here um, our default user. And in this case, which is exactly the same Docker file, we see that we have a, um, an additional vulnerability found here, Docker file misconfiguration, unapproved image. Um, and we see here that it finds this this image, and if we look at the detailed description, which is obviously a custom detailed description because this is a custom rule, use of a um, external Docker repo is dangerous, please use internal Docker repository. And then you could obviously add additional um, informations of um, which images you actually approve. With that, you can find very easily the possibility that your developers are only using images which are actually approved by you upfront. 
that concludes this demo here. Um, and please let me know any feedback in, in order for the Docker file scanning capabilities or for our SCA 20.2 release in general. Thank you.